Hello and welcome to our syllabus review. Um, so here you should see, sorry for the jumping around, um, the Instructure course homepage. So when you first go to uh, your Instructure um, area, um, it really have a feed and have some random pieces of the course put up there. But if you hover over courses and go to the children's materials course. Um, the home page should be this. I'll know you're there because I have a picture of a um, children's section of a bookstore in China that I visited. Um, and it has here um, some general information and links if you need them um, and some description purposes, objectives, just general course information including um, my expectations and what you can expect from me. Um, so I scroll through that. Um, but the bulk of the navigation that you need is on the left hand side. Um, any um, recent announcements will come up under announcement um, and you should be able to set your own notifications under your profile so you can get the announcements uh, wherever you like them. Uh, <clears throat> my course modules over here um, and we know we start with module one if you click on the, the page, it shows there's a page there, um, you know, it gives you some readings, which in this case for this is a video and a um, article or really more to inspire you to think a little bit. Um, well, actually, I hope most of the readings inspire you that way. Um, and then lectures um, are contained here with links. And then notice down at the bottom, it has a next button that just moves you to your next thing, including the discussion area where you need to add an entry and tell us about yourself. And then it has this little nice move you on to module two. Now the modules are only open um, when the like module two may not be accessible until the date that we start module two. It may be locked, but uh, once it's open, you can move through very swiftly. Um, so let's go back to what's on the left. You have your modules. Um, the syllabus view is, um, it, uh, the, it's automatically formed by, um, the Instructure Canvas software, um, so that you can look at the, um, the, the different assignments by date and look at more, it's almost more of a calendar type view, um, for you. And then you, I believe you just click on the link and it takes you right there. We'll go back to syllabus and it takes you to the description of the assignment that is due. Um, if you look at assignments for the course, which this may uh, look slightly different for you, um, there are the different assignments. Um, we also have the discussion areas. Um, you can go to those directly. Um, people will get you a list of the students in the course and access to me as well as if you um, and if you click on the person you should um, get detailed um, information about me. Now I don't know why there should be also like my contact through Facebook and Twitter and everything over here on the right hand side. Um, I'll have to work on that because it should be working. It was working. Um, but you can um, message me and such. Um, now, uh, for one of the assignments, you have a, a smaller literature discussion group. And if you click on the student groups, you should be able to find, I named you after, we put you in book clubs based on names of famous children's authors. And um, if you click on the title, for example, I'll click on Club Eager that actually gets you to like a separate home page for your um, particular group. And the main thing for that is going to be the discussions. And you can also have a little chat, but you have these discussions that you will be doing and you're responsible for responding to by click add new entry. Um, I'll go back to diamonds in a minute. Um, pages allows you to navigate to the um, to to show all. The home page comes up, but we also have um, course resources, um, which are links to some different sites and pieces of information that will hopefully be useful to you throughout the course, like things like 
uh, require you to read book award winners. Well, what awards are there? There's a lot more than just Caldecott and Newberry. So you can find out here um, some guides to book reviewing, uh, reading levels is something we'll talk about during the course, uh, sources for reviews. I know that you'll be frantically looking for those um, during one of the assignments. So uh, you should find those in the course resources. Again, um, another page you can uh, get my contact information off the instructor information page. I do have an office on campus. It's just not in Mary Gates. It's up in the top of Miller Hall. Um, and it has my uh, cell phone number so you can call me if you need to. I trust you. Uh, let's see what are pages you might want to be aware of that aren't. Um, one of the assignments that you required to turn in uh, actually, the uh, page, uh, you're, we're creating a wiki together that will give us a bibliography by the end. And that you can get to, again, by pages. And you just hit edit this page and you start putting in your information under the different uh, topic headings, which you see here. Okay, so I think that's all for pages. The other thing in pages, it lists the different module pages. But you can also get to that from clicking on modules. Um, as you saw, the modules move through very nicely. Um, assignments, I think you probably have a prettier view than I do of this. Um, but uh, an early assignment in the quarter is to uh, locate a children's librarian and talk to them about how they use literature and write a small paper. You know, one page would be fine, three pages maximum. Um, and you should be able to submit it here via cam uh, this Canvas and Structure software. But the details are there under assignments. Um, the bulk of the course is in this um, experience and respond to materials and the discussion of books and book reviews. Uh, the discussion of books and book reviews, that's the piece you're doing with your small literature group. And here it describes the steps you need to take to do that and the things I'd like you to discuss um, on those uh, group pages. And then part of that will be you'll be looking at book reviews and sort of discussing and have experience and that should feed into the experience and respond to materials which is where you're seeking out these 40 different items and then um, giving basically just a simple one paragraph response um, onto our class wiki uh, and therefore creating a bibliography for everyone to share. Uh, as the course progresses, your responsibility increases, of course, um, and you will be asked to select um, three of the items that you either write your small group or um, put into with your experience and respond wiki. You'll be asked to write a formal book review. And if you look at the book review assignment, it details um, what I'm looking for, including a rubric. And then at the very end of the quarter, I'm asking that you actually record two book talks one for a fiction book and one for nonfiction. Um, and the main thing is I want to hear your voice. Um, sometimes people do videos, sometimes they just voice over a PowerPoint. It's up to you. Um, also, at the end of the quarter, I'm asking you to create two bibliographies of 10 items each. And that's called a rec two recommended reads list. Um, if you go to your local library, you'll often find bookmarks with recommended reads or basically bibliographies around different um, topics, and I describe some topics here. One of these should have a multicultural theme. Again, ask me if you have questions about that or concerns. Um, and then one of the last things you do is a really fun thing. It's called a quiz, and it's set up as a quiz, but it's not um, majorly scary. It's basically a pass-fail, but it's an opportunity for you to try out how you would respond to an interview question. Um, I give you four scenarios that I've given to people in interviews um, on how you handle different readers' advisory uh, requests. Um, so it's really fun for questions, um, and it's a great chance to sort of look back on, you know, how, how where you've come from in the course. 
And of course, also listed under assignments is discussion. We expect you um, from module two through six, which most modules are two weeks in length, to go ahead and um, post at least three times, um, either um, as, um, you know, in response to the questions I have listed under the discussions or um, in response to a classmate. The other tools such as chat, which is something I'll, you know, can do with some occasional office hours or if you meet up with me, we do have a chat function here. Um, and but we also meet up in Gmail or somewhere else. Um, but everything else I think should be self-explanatory, but please do contact me with questions. Um, Fortunately, I've taught this course before multiple times, um, and so now we're just putting it sort of in a different wrapper, but I think it's one that will be effective for um, our course, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.